What's up guys, it's Michael here with another Coral Painter Pro tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a blurred background so as to give the effect of a shallow depth of field. So let's get straight into it. So here we have a photograph of myself and my beautiful princess, Jamalia. So to get started, we'll need to highlight the background. So I'm going to use the magic wand well the the selection tools and i'm going to go to smart selection depending on the photo that you're you're using the tool that you choose here will vary so in this case the small selection tool the smart selection tool so i'm using that to create a general selection that we that can be cleaned up later So this will grab um, similar areas. All right. All right, great. So I'm going to use the free hand selection tool now to basically clean up my selection. So ensure that it's the mode is on add and to put it on um, remove you can hit the control button so holding control turns it to remove and shift what's happening okay so I'm adding so it's now on point to point let me point to point and I'm going to increase the smoothness to about 15 so I'm using the mouse wheel to scroll to zoom sorry so because it's on smooth it helps to create a more rounded selection So basically you're learning how to select an image in this one tutorial. So this section here was selected. I want to remove it. So holding control or better just hit the drop down button, put it to remove and then make the selection. And of course, because this is a tutorial, um, special care won't be done to ensure a very, very good selection. It's just for demonstration purposes. Put it back to add, select this area here. All right, so we're getting somewhere. For her here now, we can change it from point to point to freehand, and we'll remove some of the selection. There we go. So hold the space to pan. Up here we want to add back some of the selection to add. Add some selection here. Space and drag to pan. So as you can see, I'm just roughly going through and quickly doing this. 
add and right here we want to remove Ctrl Z to undo and so let's see what we have here all right so for the most part we have the images selected and what we want is to make the background here blurry so i'm going to with the selection st still there we're going to duplicate the layer and with the top layer so we, now we have two layers with the top layer selected we're going to add a mask so the mask will be show and when it's on show we're going to paint the outer bands of the outside of this outside of the selection um black so with the flood fill tool selected we're going to click black sorry we're going to first invert the selection so control shift and i inverts the selection so we're in we we have the mask layer selected then we're going to use the flood fill tool go to black and hit so there we have a mask of ourselves so we can remove the selection by hitting ctrl d so that d selects it so we have two layers we have one layer that has the photograph um pretty much cut out and then beneath it we have the original um image so we're going to go to the original image that's the background go up to adjust blur and gaussian blur and right there we can play with the depth of field so we the more we increase it the more blurred the background becomes as you can see so this gives the illusion of a shallow depth of field so as you can see this is the before this is the after and hit ok so of course you can go in into the mask layer and with black and white paint you can you can pretty much fix up some of the areas that you would want to fix like on top of her hair can paint black and ensure that the hardness is set to zero so that it gives a more faded or feathered effect giving it a more natural look